A lonely man living in a remote cabin wakes up one day and realizes his beloved, a dismembered corpse nailed to the cabin wall, has been made ugly and rotten by the flies that swarm her. He wishes she were beautiful, like the squirrels of the wood, and so he sets out to hunt the squirrels of the wood, so that he might staple them to her and make her beautiful again. This is Squirrel Stapler, a game created by David Szymanski. You might know him as the creator of the popular horror game Iron Lung. I first learned about Squirrel Stapler from a YouTuber called Power Pack. I highly recommend you watch his video on the topic as it's a good watch. I also highly recommend watching his video on the house.wad doom map as it's another good watch. I wanted to learn more about Squirrel Stapler as I was interested in its world and wondered if there was more to the game. Is there a story being told? Why are we stapling squirrels to our decomposing wife? Why is God coming in five days? Today I'll be diving deep and trying to understand Squirrel Stapler. If you clicked on this video, I assume you understand what this game is about. But for those new to Squirrel Stapler, I will quickly run down what you will be doing in this game. You will be stapling squirrels to your wife over the next couple of days. You collect five squirrels and staple them, then head to bed for the next day. You repeat this for the next five days until God comes. There are enemies around the map such as ghosts and creatures that will attack you, and you will eventually start hunting bigger squirrels. There are also items around the map that will help you, such as the ammo stations that refills your ammo, the health station that heals you, the energy drink station that doubles your walk speed, and the Sin Shack. And that's basically the main gameplay of Squirrel Stapler. Nothing too complex, but the game should take around one hour to beat. With all of that out of the way, let's start to figure out what is going on in this game as you explore the world. You will find these papers scattered all around. Some of the papers are tip of the day pages to help you out a bit, while other pages tell a story. For example, before you leave your cabin in day one, you can find a page from the Book of Grove, which contains a verse from a person or creature called the Goat of the Woods, which simply says thou shalt not staple squirrels. But two important papers you can find on day one as you explore are the Lady Part 1 page and the Report 1 page. I believe these two pages have a connection to our character and may explain a bit of backstory about them. The story of each of the pages are told each day. Let me read both of them and let's see what we find. The Lady Part 1 once there was a lonely artist who lived by himself in the woods. Desiring to ease his loneliness, he saved his meager earnings and purchased a fine paintbrush crafted from the hair of a beautiful woman. The artist loved his paintbrush so much that he used it to paint the woman who had given her hair for its creation, as he imagined she must look. He was then informed that due to a terrible mix-up, the hair had actually come from a wild boar. Report 1 Nothing of note to report. Some marginal abnormalities in readings that went away once I recalibrated. Some odd noises during the night. Probably squirrels. Overall, everything is pretty quiet. The Lady Part 2 the artist was inconsolable and spent his days weeping and taking his portrait on long walks in the rain. On one of these walks he encountered an old woman who said, Ah, young man, I can see the reason for your despair. Come with me. For a few pennies, she said, his treasured painting could be brought to life. The artist was overjoyed, and the spell was cast. Only then did he remember that he had only painted the woman from the waist up. Report 2 Small abnormal readings still occurring with odd regularity. Recalibrating always fixes them, but they come back the next day. I also keep finding dead squirrels outside the door. Looks like maybe an animal is leaving them, but I'm noting it as per my instructions. The Lady Part 3 the newly created half-woman screamed and wailed, clawing her way in circles around the room as blood poured from the bottom of her torso and entrails flopped around in tangles. The artist sobbed and looked to the old woman, who was examining the pennies he'd given her, unfazed. She caught his gaze, shrugged, and said, I reserve a special spell for these circumstances. She pointed to an axe mounted on the wall. Report 3 there's something in the woods here that we didn't expect. I keep finding tracks, and I hear it at night, moving through the foliage and scratching on the concrete. And in the morning there are squirrels outside the door, with their limbs all pulled off, and their heads twisted around, lots of them, requesting a call for instructions on how to proceed. The Lady Part 4 
The artist lifted the axe, tears streaming down his face. The half-woman continued to scream and claw. He brought the axe down. Her left arm rolled across the floor, and still she screamed and writhed. He brought it down again, separating her skull into two parts, and somehow still she screamed. Again, the axe came down, and again, and again, and again, until she screamed no more. Report 4 it's in the walls now, in the concrete, looking for my brain. It can't find it because my brain is inside my skull, but it will. It will peel away skin and bone to get inside. When my brain is taken, I will come for you. I will break you open. I will take yours instead. I'm in the shadows now. I am seeing you cower. You are already stretched apart into pieces. Your head is already twisted off the spine. The Lady Part 5 the artist's ears rang as he turned to the old woman and said, What is this unspeakable horror that you have brought to me? How can I ever escape what has been done here? What penny spell can you cast to conjure good from this? And the old woman examined the bloody mess and said, Well, young man, this will make a mighty fine stew. And so they made a stew from the remains, but it was poison, and they both died. Art will eventually destroy the artist. The End Report 5 Please disregard previous reports. Everything is quiet. And that is everything from the Lady and Report pages. So to recap, the Lady is about a lonely artist who lives in the woods. He creates an art piece of a beautiful woman. The artist grows attached to his art and would take walks with it. On one of these walks, he would encounter an old lady that would bring the art to life. However, when the woman was created, it was just half of her. The woman would scream and wail on the floor in pain. The artist then grabbed an axe and started cutting up the woman. The old lady then suggests to create a stew out of the chopped up woman, with them both dying due to it being poison. And for the report pages, it seems to be about the character we play as. He hears things out in the woods, and that something is killing and bringing him squirrels. On day four, it seems like our character completely loses his mind as he talks about his brain being taken. On day three, something interesting happens as your wife isn't in her normal spot, but is sitting down in the kitchen. Could she have moved on her own? Or did our character move her so he didn't feel lonely while eating? Finally, let's take a look at the ending of the game, and after start to theorize some possible story that could be going on here. And that was the ending to Squirrel Stapler. A loud chant starts that informs us that God is coming, and then being attacked by God himself. So with all the information we know, let's try to figure out what is going on in this world. I believe that our character killed his wife, and is stapling squirrels to his wife as some sort of twisted art piece, which kind of ties back in with the lady story. As he keeps killing squirrels, it seems like our character may have upset something in the woods. Going back to the report pages supports this theory as something is bringing dead squirrels to our character's cabin, maybe as a threat. Finally on the last day, the thing that has been threatening us decides it's time to kill us, which our character thinks is God. But I personally don't think it's God but some sort of squirrel monster, or maybe squirrel god. In the end our character dies due to upsetting something in the woods. I also think this ties back to the lady story, on how at the end of the story it leaves with the message. Art will eventually destroy the artist, as our character is stapling squirrels to his wife and creating his art piece. Something in the woods kills him due to killing squirrels for his art, and that in my opinion is the story of Squirrel Stapler, a twisted man who kills his wife, and staples dead squirrels to her decomposing body for his art. Thank you.